Hey there, it is Sunday morning, and um, I just released the video on doing the floor in my listening room in my basement. And this is, uh, if you can recall, if you watched the video, I talked about this before, because I did this work <laughs> a couple months ago. I said I wasn't going to edit the video because I didn't think it would get any views, and that's probably going to play out. But... Um, I, had to, I didn't have anything ready because, like I said, I've been kind of burned out a little bit and taking some time off and just sitting around, uh, disconnecting and all that. And on Thursday morning, I decided that maybe I should edit that. And one of the reasons why I said it wouldn't be worth editing is because I thought it would take a long time to edit. And <laughs> that turned out to be true. It took two days to edit that video. I finished it at uh, just about five o'clock yesterday afternoon. So yeah, uh, quite a lot of work. Part of that was because I didn't record any voiceover while I was recording it. A lot of my shop videos that happen, I record the voiceover as I'm doing the video. Um, like I'll do an operation and I'll record a description of that. Sometimes I have to re-record that because I, I said something wrong or um, or I repeated something, but you know, that's not too bad. <laughs> but this, I had to record everything and that's what takes the time to do it. So you watch a video with no no voiceover and you know, you can appreciate how much time it takes, but wow, when you have a voiceover, quite a lot more time involved. It's a full day actually added to the record uh, edit time to do that. So yeah, anyway, it's up there. So in the last video, I said that the next um, project would be the drill press. And I don't think that's going to be uh, what I'm going to do next. Um, a while ago, still paranoid about, you know, having my channel hacked again. I bought uh, a laptop so that I could transfer everything sensitive to the laptop. And it wouldn't be amongst the general browsing and especially email because that's the way these things come in. Um, so I have email and general you know, browsing on the internet on my main computer, well, my living room computer. And then I have everything else that's involved with YouTube and uh, banking and all that stuff on the laptop. And uh, it's been sitting on a, a piece of plywood <laughs> that's hinged uh, on a two by four that's clamped down to the end table in my living room. And, uh, you know, it's kind of inconvenient. So I, what I want to do is I build an articulating uh, laptop stand that's freestanding, not attached to the table, and height adjustable. And, um, you know, it gives enough room so that it swings out of the way so you can get out of the chair. Otherwise, it swings over, you know, basically onto, well, just above your lap, right? Because that's what's convenient for a for a laptop and also have space on there for the mouse so that um, you don't have to use the trackpad. Um, I'm not using the trackpad now, but I'm using, I'm using a mouse on my other mouse pad that's used for the, and I get confused sometimes and, you know, it'd just be better to have the mouse right there. So yeah, I, I drew up a quick plan on that and I'm going to start building that this week. I'm pretty sure. Hopefully, I can get that done by next weekend. Um, I'm going to try. We'll see. Because I need the thing, right? Um, that's what's pushing me here. I'm not going to bother. Because <laughs> it's still not clean. I'm not going to bother cleaning up the shop for that. It's going to work with what I have here. I'm going to like try to hide the mess a little bit, but I'm not going to clean it up. As you can see, my speaker's still in here. I haven't... Uh, finish this one yet uh, and I still have to bring the other one out um, and finish that. I'll probably do that tomorrow morning, get that out of the way, get that over and done with that part of the filming anyway, so that I can, you know, ha not have these in the shop. This is another thing. I don't want to be in here cleaning up while this is in here. You know, this is finished. I don't want it, uh, I don't want it to fall over or, or get covered with dust or whatever can happen in here while I'm cleaning up. Because, you know, I'm like a bull in a china shop and I get on a, a, you know, a mission. And I just, 
storm through and, and things fall down and break. And yeah, I don't want that to happen. There's a lot of work here. All right. It doesn't look like much, but there's a lot of work here. So yeah, I like, I want to talk about something else <laughs> while I'm out here. I don't know how long this video is. I just started recording and um, maybe it's not long enough. So I thought I would talk about the alternate timeline that we're in. Okay. Um, I talked in a video on my audio channel a while back about watching Star Trek The Next Generation again. I bought the DVD set and I've been watching that through. I'm up to season six by now. I, I don't binge watch. Like uh, the typical binge watching is one watching episode after episode after episode, maybe three, four a night for some people. Now I watch one episode per day, if that. Um, so you don't, you know, get overloaded and you don't lose the details as well. So yeah, I, I talked about the future not being our future, not being bright. And I just mentioned alternate timeline. I think we're in an alternate timeline here, actually, an alternate history that went off the rails back when, well, shortly after uh, Roddenberry wrote the original series for that. Um, optimism for the future was much, was much higher. And a lot of that had to do with the technology, the advancements that the technology would bring. And here we are today where we're living in a largely anti-technology society. I mean, it's crazy how um, sideways we went on all this stuff. Nuclear power, like there's no reason why the electricity that's available today is not dirt cheap. There should be nothing but nuclear power plants for that stuff. Nothing else. Okay, hydro, if it's feasible, but nuclear power, man, cheap, available forever. <laughs> so that's one side, you know, trip there or one side track that took us in that direction. Like it's everything. I mean, look at, OK, why don't we have a holiday or even a week holiday for the to celebrate the invention of the transistor? I mean, look at the modern world, how much of it is happening. And the, what you're watching right now is happening because the transistor was invented. And yet it's kind of uh, glossed over. Nobody cares. They all take it for granted. That's it. They take it for granted. And now uh, Shockley, the inventor of the transistor is, you know, some people will deny him that invention because he kind of had some alternate <laughs> opinions later in his life as well, but which made him unpopular. But yeah, there should be there should be statues of him and there should be at least a holiday for the transistor. You know, if you look at the future depicted in, in Star Trek, any of those Star Treks, it it it, you know, involves a lot of technological advancements and that we're we're not going to be able to make because we're on an alternate track that is denying all of that, denying us the ability to do all of that. So yeah, I thought that was interesting. One of those things that I think about every once in a while. I've got other thoughts, you know, that uh, I occasionally talk about on this channel. It gets me in trouble. But yeah. Well, we're not on that same timeline. It's almost like, you know, you watch this science fiction movie about an alternate future or an alternate past. That's what's happening. We sidetracked radically and we're here now and we're not going to get there from here. We can't get there from here. Something has to change. You know, we have to, <laughs> we have to embrace technology a lot more than we are now then for that to happen for us to go there i mean i said you know how many how many solar panels and and um, windmill farms can you make with a galaxy class starship quite a few right so there's not going to be any money for that kind of stuff right 
And it would be so restrictive with the government intervention that how are you going to build something like that? You know, it takes more than Elon Musk to do it. Welcome, humans. I am ready for you. Fish, plankton, sea greens, and protein from the sea. Fresh as harvest day. Overwhelming.